Deadpool and Wolverine will be here in a few short months, and many of us have so many dreams, hopes, aspirations, and of course, theories for this film and what it holds. For those of us whose little hearts blossomed at the end of the Loki series, who have seen Loki's journey come full circle, I think most of us would love to see a little nod or appearance of the god of stories. I know I would. Some have theorized that with the TVA's appearance, we may also get some kind of Loki reference or appearance here in the film. I personally would also love that. Which character cameo do you most want to see in this film? Let me know in the comments. A lot of folks have various theories about this part of the second Second trailer. I know I have my theories, but I love how like we all have an idea for who we want to be on the other side of this. Personally, when I saw Wolverine and Deadpool jumping through what appears to be a magical portal, it honestly looks exactly like a sling ring portal. I wanted Wong. That's right, Sorcerer Supreme Wong to be on the other side of that portal. But a meme has been circling the internet that has made another theory quite popular among fans. And I gotta say, having now seen the memes, I kinda love it. That it is in fact Ned Leeds from No Way Home. Yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home making the portal and that he accidentally opened up a portal into Deadpool 3 only to see Wolverine and Deadpool obviously about to jump through when he would of course then promptly close that portal. So this would just be a joke. Honestly, it's a pretty good theory because it fits with the Deadpool humor and I think it would also be funny. I mean, it would be maybe a little less funny now because we have the meme, so I kind of hope it's not true, but at the same time, it works. Could be possible. Is it possible we will go to Toronto in this film, or at least somewhere near it? Something interesting that I spotted in the second trailer is during the part where they are at the runes in the second trailer, which many people are thinking could be a version of Battle World or simply the wasteland of the realities after massive incursions have blended up all the continuities together, we spot what appears to be, get this, the CN freaking tower. It's not super noticeable since it's up in the top right corner so it's kind of like to the side of the frame, off to the side, but it looks like the runes of the CN Tower. Very interesting and cool considering both Wolverine and Deadpool are actually Canadian in the comics. It could just be an homage as Ryan Reynolds himself is of course also a Canadian, or it could be a hint at one of the locations we'll travel to or we could see in the film. At the beginning of the second trailer as well, although the bar does not give me Toronto vibes as someone that, you know, is based there. We also see a Canadian flag hanging up against the wall behind what appears to be a jukebox during the scene where Deadpool approaches Logan and asks him, you know, to join him. This makes me think Canada could be a major setting in the film, but whether it will be more urban or more rural Canada, we'll kind of have to wait and see where we end up. I'd love to see Toronto somewhere in here though, because that would just be like super awesome as a Torontonian. I feel like, yes. We made it. Another interesting moment in the second trailer could actually be revealing who the real villain of Deadpool 3 is. A twist that I kind of would love to see incorporated into the film, if of course that's the way the film is deciding to lean. During a fight scene in the forest with, you know, the snow on the ground, we see Deadpool fighting what appears to be TVA agents, who resemble hunters. Although the design is a bit different from their appearance in Loki if they are hunters. No numbers on their helmets, that's something that the hunters have. I noticed in Loki, but they do seem to be wearing the TVA logo on them. Deadpool seems to be fighting them with what appears to be like a branch and doing a pretty great job, to be honest. Definitely earning his reputation as one of the most deadly mercs in Marvel here. This makes me wonder if Cassandra Nova is really the big villain of the film or if something else is going on with her and we're being a little bit misled here in terms of her role. I do think she and this film's Wolverine might have some history, but I also would not be surprised if we have to see our heroes reluctantly team up with her to fight a greater threat. Perhaps that greater threat is the TVA or whoever they really are. I'm wondering if this version of the TVA that we see here is maybe not even the TVA at all, or is maybe just the TVA but they're being manipulated by someone behind the scenes. I know Loki just saved the TVA and uh, kind of all of reality, but I also find it interesting that we don't see Hunter B-15, Sylvie, Ouroboros, or Mobius just anywhere in these trailers. 
with the TVA. Though of course it could be possible that while not in the trailers, we have so far that any number of the TVA employees that we're familiar with could appear in the full length feature. They could just be hiding them from us and they want to surprise us with them, which would also make sense. So it seems like there may be some pruning going on, or at least there was some pruning that happened a while back. In the trailer we can see the purple cloud that is Eliath. Eliath also seems to appear near where Cassandra Nova's base is, which is I believe the corpse of a giant ant-man. This whole place gives off Mad Max or post-apocalyptic vibes, but the presence of Eliath would also suggest that we are actually at the place where all things and people who are pruned end up which is interesting. Kind of would make sense for all of the Fox folks to be here. Another interesting point that some have made is that this Wolverine is likely not the one we know from Logan and the Fox films. The version of Wolverine that we saw meet his end in Logan was supposed to have his story finished there. It was tragic and bittersweet and everyone was pretty much happy with how that ended. Those who made the film of course included. I personally enjoyed this ending as well. In fact Logan might be my favorite of all the X-Men films that I've ever watched. I do love Wolverine and this film just it just fits so perfectly for me. It also has some of the best fights in my opinion. So if it isn't the Wolverine we know, who is it? A lot of folks have theories. Many have theorized that this is a version of basically the old man Logan story Wolverine, but where that Wolverine was manipulated into eliminating his fellow X-Men by Mysterio's illusions, instead this version of him was manipulated by Cassandra Nova who took a hold of his mind. However, it's also interesting to note that there are a ton of seemingly Fox based mutants in this trailer as well. Could it be possible that this is a live action version of the animated Wolverine even? Even. I don't know. The costume is a bit different, but I'm definitely getting some like, I don't know, I'm getting some X-Men the Animated Series vibes from this Wolverine in the second trailer. Anyways, although, you know, there are swears, which is not usually how we do in the animated show, but I don't know, something, something about it. I'm just gonna plant that seed. While there are many theories about who this Wolverine might be in regards to his place in the multiverse, it's also possible that we could still get some kind of Logan reference or even an X-23 appearance. The fight scene in the forest in the snow seems to take place in the same forest we saw at the end of Logan. Many have noted that the tree stump that appears is the same one that we saw in the Logan film. So. People are thinking maybe we're gonna go that route, and also they have alluded to the Logan film before in promotional material, so. Something I noticed between the first and second trailer that was different made me dream up a theory of my own in regards to Wolverine's role in this film, and just which Wolverine or Wolverines we might be getting here. Patch seems to appear or be implied to appear in this film in the first trailer, but then in the second trailer there's no sign of him anywhere. Interesting. While many have also theorized that Hugh Jackman will be donning Logan's Patch disguise, super iconic in the comics, if you know Patch he's, he's just great. It's also interesting that when we did see him in the first trailer, you know, we didn't see his face. Will this Patch also be the same version of Wolverine that we're seeing team up with Deadpool in the trailers but just in disguise? Or is it possible that this Patch could be an alternate version of Wolverine, either all together or an alternate version that's in disguise? Some have theorized that there will be a another Wolverine in the film and that the other actor who is playing him, there have been many theories in regards to who that could be, will be taking up Hugh Jackman's place as the new Wolverine for this new X cinematic era that we're about to jump into. Something else that feels weird about the second trailer is the shot where we see Deadpool and Wolverine walking down the street with a destroyed series of shops behind them. The famous Liefeld's Just Feet being one such shop behind them, a reference to of course Rob Liefeld, the creator of Deadpool, who is notoriously critiqued for his poor drawings of feet in the comics. And honestly it's pretty true. During this slow-mo walk the shot feels super wide, which could suggest that there might be more people in the shot in the film on the right side who were then digitally removed for the purpose of this trailer, which we've seen Marvel do before and other films do before. These could be folks that Deadpool has picked up along the way to join his multiversal team, but revealing them would be a bit too spoilery for them to include in the trailer. A multiversal team? I wonder what they'd call themselves. Maybe the Exiles? Something I have been wondering about for some time is if this is the film that is going to introduce us to the X-Men. No. 
not the Fox X-Men, obviously we know them already, but the new team of X-Men, the one that we're supposedly getting in the MCU at some point. I thought I might be honestly dead and gone by the time we got the X-Men with all the plans Marvel and Disney seem to have that they kind of needed to like get through before the X-Men were ever going to even be introduced, but it seems like there might be a shift coming as some of their plans have fallen by the wayside and been discarded or just straight up fallen apart. It has made room for the X-Men to maybe appear sooner than we thought. Could this be the film where we meet our main roster of the mutants of this age? I certainly hope so. I would love that. Although I'm not gonna lie, if Jean Grey or Madeline Pryor is in there, or if we get like some kind of squirrel girl appearance, a mutant but not usually an X-Men, I will be a little sad that I didn't even get a chance to audition for any of those roles because I would honestly love to play Jean or Squirrel Girl. And obviously with Jean, you get to be Maddie too because clone. That's about it. I'm your host Amanda McKnight. Until next time, you stay nerdy. Bye.